In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the dashboard screen. When you log into the Abacus backend, you'll be taken to the dashboard screen by default. If you're on another page in the Abacus backend and need to get to the dashboard, just click the dashboard icon here. You can view a lot of statistics about your business from the dashboard screen. Before we get into those, I'll just show you some of the filtering options. On the left here, we can filter these statistics by day, week, and month view. Currently, I have it set to day view. On the right side of the screen, we have a few options for selecting dates. We can go to the previous week, the previous day, select a date here, go to the next day, and also go to the next week. Now that we've looked at the filtering options, let's take a look at some of the business statistics. We can see the sales for the day, the number of transactions, the cost of goods which I'll show you how to set up in a later video, the deleted transaction total, which is an order that has been sent to the kitchen and then deleted before it's been paid, the number of deleted transactions, discounts applied to an entire order, and discounts applied to just one item of an order. Here you can see the sales by temperature graph. At the top of the graph you can see the forecasted weather for the day. The black line represents the temperature and the blue line represents your sales. Here we have the guest count which will show you the number of guests that have come into your store. You can see the average spend per person and also the average spend per transaction. Here you can see the number of items sold. Here you can see the total number of hours your staff worked that day, the total labour cost, and the labour cost per hour. Here you can see the top 5 selling products for the day displayed in a pie graph. Lastly, we have the tender type graph, which will show you the different payment methods your customers have been using to pay for their orders.